Finally, Trust Wallet is catching up with MetaMask on some of the features and also, in my opinion, beats it in the multi-chain support, which is not just EVM compatible network. And today we're going to go over the new feature that's been recently added to Trust Wallet, which is adding custom EVM compatible network. If you're not familiar with EVM quite yet, EVM stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. And one of the main reasons that Ethereum has become so popular and basically breathing in Bitcoin's back is smart contracts, something that Bitcoin does not support. And yes, Bitcoin is a store of value and you can transfer it from one wallet to another or maybe pay for services by also transferring Bitcoin from one wallet to another. But in my opinion, smart contracts is something that really makes use of this whole blockchain technology. And that's why you can do staking, lending and borrowing and so much more. And so the execution of smart contracts would not be possible without EVM or Ethereum virtual machine. And probably based on the name, you might be thinking that it only supports Ethereum, but that's not actually true because there are a lot of networks that are EVM compatible, meaning that they can run smart contracts based on Ethereum virtual machine. And this includes Binance, Avalanche, Polygon, Phantom, and many other networks. So let's jump into my phone. I'm gonna actually show you how you can add custom EVM compatible networks to your trust wallet. So we're inside my trust wallet and here's how you can add custom network in your trust wallet. So you're gonna click on the settings button in the top right corner, then you're gonna click plus in the top right corner. And over here we can add token and we can add network. So let's say we wanna add network. We're gonna click on network. And over here we can see that the network is EVM compatible network. So we can give the name, symbol, node URL and explorer URL. So where do we find this data and how do you even know which networks are EVM compatible and which ones are not? So the best place to find EVM compatible network is chainlist.org. So what you can do, you can go to your browser. In my case, I go into Chrome browser and over here, I'm already on the website. You can see chainlist.org and please make sure that you use the correct URL because there might be a lot of scams out there, so you don't want to get scammed. If we scroll down over here, then we can see that it has a bunch of networks that are EVM compatible networks. We can have, we see here Ethereum, we have Binance, we have Polygon, we have Arbitrum, Avalanche, Optimism, Phantom, and a lot more. Some of them I've never heard, uh, but anyway, you can find all of the EVM compatible network here in one place. And let's say that if I go back to Trust Wallet, so what we actually need is the node URL. So let me go back and I'm gonna show you. Let's say we want to add, I don't know, let's do maybe dot chain, dot chain mainnet. So you're gonna click on that. And over here we have RPC server address. So you can grab one of these addresses Let's say we'll grab this one. Copy that. Then go back to your trust wallet. And it's tedious because you always have to either put the pin or use the fingerprint, but nonetheless, you can paste the URL. Then we can provide the symbol and the name as well and click save and the network is gonna be added. But this is a more complicated method. Uh, there is an easier way, so let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna copy that URL. And then we're gonna go back to Trust Wallet. Let's log in. And we're gonna to go to Browser tab. Over here, we're gonna paste the URL that we just copied. And we're going to navigate. And as you can see, we're on this page. So the easier way is you can click connect wallet and trust wallet is gonna use wallet connect to connect to chainlist.org. Again, make sure that you're using the correct URL and not some scam URL. So you can, you can select your wallet. In my case, this is correct. And I'm gonna click connect. And over here, we can already see that all the information here is pre-populated. That way you don't have to fill anything out manually that is done. And once you click save, 
He says chain added successfully. Now you can send receive Dogecoin coins, add tokens, browse, connect to dApps, and many more. So you can click done. You can go back. And now if we click add, we click on network. Let's say we need to add uh, some tokens. So we're going to click on Dogecoin network. You can see that the network is there. And you can find the address of any token. Let's say we want to add Dogecoin. We can find the contract address, paste it here, and add. And as well, we can add a bunch of other tokens that are on the Dogecoin network. And that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to my channel because I talk about crypto and do crypto tutorials as well as talk crypto news. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all guys in the next one.